Well, there goes the RC51. Smart guy. Selling his uh selling his motorcycle or a down payment on a house. He put it up for sale. I think uh I think he'll sell it because the RC51 is a great bike. But uh the condition is a little um I didn't like the condition of it. Um but I think he'll sell it. He's got a full Sato titanium. Well, I don't know if it's fully titanium, but I recognize titanium when I see it. It is a titanium exhaust. <clears throat> All right, time for me to edit. No sale today. He didn't have a jacket on either. I'm kind of surprised. They usually require that. Get on base. like my dream bike um, because I miss I miss having a Vin Vin and I don't know I like the Vin I really like the Vin the way it rides but when I see a bike like that I kind of have to wonder you know it's There's a lot of things, a lot of little peculiarities about that bike that kind of bother me a bit. Because I look at the engine trim, I mean the, the engine cover is magnesium. Um, wow, that's really expensive. Cast magnesium. You know, for the, I don't know what that is, that, I guess the oil cover or whatever that plate is. And he's got a... Um, that that's why it's called what is that like that it has it has uh i saw a lot of rust on the bike and it it um seems the bike was i mean he's covered the bike but he did a lot of corrosion going on so i wasn't too pleased with that i i, I actually i actually don't like it at all to have to have that kind of corrosion going on that's not good And, uh, what else? What else don't I like about it? Yeah, pretty much the corrosion bit. I don't like the corrosion that's going on there. Uh, the way the guy did the... the he did a um, aftermarket rear tail kit on it, and there were LEDs that were velcroed onto the back of the bike, and it came off. <laughs> um, you know, I'm a fan of Velcro, but not for LEDs, uh, for brake lights or signal lights. And those, those, uh, it was made for signal lights, and it was a bit glued on. You know, there's. There's things that are done really, really well as if, you know, like it was professionally done, it looked professional and it came out of the factory that way, but this one didn't look like it. The RC51 is a rare bike, it's a really fantastic super bike, so I don't doubt he's going to be able to sell it, but I think the price he was asking for is a bit hot, he wanted 8000 for it, or 7500 even though it has a $2,000 titanium exhaust on it, I I don't think he's gonna get that kind of money for it. I think in the end, he'll end up selling it for about $65,000 or $6,000. I think that's about the right price.
here's the arm traps I've been talking about getting these strapped down so that in case you fall your armor doesn't roll around yeah these things you need these things you can't just buy a jacket without these traps the armor doesn't the armor is more for shock protection impact protection when you fall the armor will cup your elbow and your jacket is supposed to provide most of the abrasion resistance. So, like the jacket fabric is supposed to provide the abrasion resistance, while the, the armor is supposed to provide impact resistance or the impact protection. all over the inside of my helmet, coughed on it. It really sucks. Poor little Kodak. Uh. Uh. Okay. So, I guess you guys know what I'm up to, huh? Look for another bike. I've been looking for an RC51 for quite a while. And, Gary, you, you know, Shoot, man, after seeing that R51, um, uh, you know, I'm not as turned on by it anymore. I think my bike's still a better bike. It's not, I, I don't know. Is that a cop? Hope not. my next bike. Well, I'm looking for something that is nice, but it is, doesn't have really high mileage. Like this bike is, has pretty high mileage, and due to the part to having a larger sprocket in the rear, and that, that I don't like. 